Welcome back to Tech Tutorial Expert. Your one and only platform for comprehensive setup guide and troubleshooting setup issue. If you're in trouble then come in our channel you find the great and informative videos. In this video, we'll guide you step by step on how to set up your Verizon E3200 Wi-Fi extender to boost your home's wireless coverage. Whether you're using the WPS button for a quick connection or manually pairing it through your router, we've got you covered. Learn how to position the extender, establish a solid connection, and optimize your Wi-Fi signal for seamless browsing, streaming, and gaming. Follow along and say goodbye to Wi-Fi dead zones in your home. Firstly we start with the unboxing giving you the cleanest review of the product that what comes in the packet. Inside the Verizon E3200 Wi-Fi extender box, you'll find the extender unit itself, which helps boost your Wi-Fi signal. Along with the extender, there's a power adapter to plug it in, and an Ethernet cable in case you need a wired connection. The box also includes a quick start guide to help you with the setup. So let's start the setup process. Place the E3200 in an area where it can receive a strong signal from the main router but is also close enough to the area that needs a Wi-Fi boost. A midpoint between the router and the weak coverage area often works well. Now plug the extender into a power outlet and ensure the device powers on. Wait for the LED light on the front of the E3200 to turn solid white. This means the extender is ready for setup. Find the WPS button on your Verizon router. It's usually a small button marked with the WPS symbol, two arrows forming a circle. Press the WPS button on the router. The WPS button should cause an LED to blink, indicating it's in pairing mode. Within two minutes of pressing the WPS button on your router, press the WPS button on the E3200 extender. It will also begin blinking, indicating it's trying to pair with the router. The WPS process takes about 1 to 2 minutes. During this time, both devices will communicate and establish a secure wireless connection. Once the pairing is successful, the LED on the E3200 extender will turn solid white, indicating a good connection to the router. Once the extender is successfully connected, test the Wi-Fi in areas that previously had poor coverage to ensure it's working. 